Alright, so... Ah, uh, another Guardian Acorn I probably could have gotten, but I didn't. Uh, that's not fair. Okay. No point of going left. Uh, that's for, like, the boss area, kind of. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm getting s completely stomped by these enemies. Ignore him. And now we got a key, so now we're gonna go through here. And we are at our side boss. Now, luckily, this is actually one of the easiest side bosses you'll ever come across in a video game. Oh, he tricked me, though. I thought he was switching direction, but he's one of the easiest. All you do is just put your Pegasus boots on, and eventually, you'll catch up with him. And then just go around again. I mean, I literally, I don't think I've ever gotten hit by this guy that I know of. Maybe the first playthrough, when I didn't know how to beat him, I got hit, but... Damn, I was like, what? Eight years old when I first played this game? Something like that? Ten years old? Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. You saw that shit? He, cha he changed direction. Changed the, he did it again. So it's not hard. He's just kind of annoying. It takes a little, a little while to kill him. I'm dead. And we've re reached kind of the midpoint of our dungeon. So that would take us to the beginning. Not worrying about that just yet. And you got the flippers. If you press B, you can swim. So now, all those deep sections of water, we can actually swim to. But first, let's figure out this puzzle. How do we kill these things? I don't remember. I don't remember. I kind of remember. See, these things are kind of a pain in the ass. These things do become easier to beat when you get a certain dungeon item, but we don't have that dungeon item yet. Ah, Guardian Acorn, sweet. I'll use that. Okay, so... There, there. They tell me exactly where to go. Oh, that just opens that up, really? All that for that, Jesus. Okay, that takes us back there. Which way do I go? This way. This is actually where I gotta go. Ow. Uh... No. Pattern, I think, is that. This one. Top right. What the hell? That, left, top right, top left, what the hell? Oh my god. Here, let's make this easy, because I'm like, having a hard time. Okay. There you go. There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Oops. That was my fault because I kind of like stopped in midair. And we got the Nightmare's Key. So now we go to the Nightmare's Lair. Looks like there's two treasures I missed. What's the other one? I honestly do not remember. Sh 
shit. I don't want to miss anything. Let's go see if I can get there. Okay. I don't have a key. I see one of the the chests that I can get. Also, if you press B, you can dive under the water, which prevents you from getting hit by enemies. Okay, 50 rupees. So my guess is that the other treasure chest must be a key then? I guess that would make sense. Oops. Well, there's an easy way to get there. So we can do that. We can go uh, take that shortcut. If you remember, I beat the boss, so we have a portal that takes us to the beginning. So let's just go there and do that. And the key is pretty... Oh, crap. I gotta kill these things, of course. Uh... Come on. For some reason, the controls feel really stiff. I think it's my controller giving out on me. I, I really need a new controller, especially now that I'm, I've am i started using Steam. That's the other uh, side thing I've been doing. i have not using it, but I've actually, you know, I bought two or three games for it, finally. Um, what did I buy? I bought Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, Platinum. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, which is one of the, my favorite PC games ever. I just love designing... Uh, okay, so all that for 50 rupees, really. I just love designing... Jesus. And let me just go this way. I just love designing all the stages and everything, and... I mean, uh, all the amusement parks and all the objectives. That's a really damn fun game. If you guys never played it, I definitely recommend that, especially if you have a Steam account. Um, so I got that. I got... Um, another game called Another Perspective. Now, this game, most of you never heard of. Another Perspective is a brand new game created by Sean Spaulding. Sean Spaulding is the person that I've been... As I've been learning Game Maker, um, this is... The, I've been watching a, t a tutorial series from Sean Spaulding on how to make platform games with Game Maker. And he mentioned another perspective that he was creating that game. So that's what that's all about. He uh, created, he, he's doing tutorials and, ooh, a key. So this is where the key was. Sweet. Um, so he created the game, another perspective, download. It's a fun, it's a fun uh, puzzle platformer. Um, so I definitely recommend this, especially if you like puzzle games. It's kind of like, um... Oh god, I, I can't really think of something that it reminds me of. It's very unique. Just check it out if you get a chance. Uh, go to Steam and just type in another perspective, and you'll see uh, the trailer for it, which is kind of interesting. Um, but, yep, here I go advertising. But, uh, I, I mean, I have to, because the guy... His tutorials are really good, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be, you know doing this shit. Okay, which way am I going? Like, I wouldn't know what the hell half the stuff I'm doing, and he helped a lot. Not so much programming, I mean, I know programming, although it is a whole new language, but more the fact of just... I could go to the boss. What does this take me to? I'm wondering. I could go to the boss, but I just want to see. I have an extra key. And I don't know what it's for. But, um... Yeah, so I got that. I also got... A Resident E... Look at this. You know what? I'm gonna save that key. I'm gonna save that key. I don't know if that's a glitch. Why would they give me an extra key in this dungeon? I'm gonna save it in case I need it for a next dungeon. How about that? Kind of going out of sequence there, huh? Yep. Um, so I got that, uh, another perspective, I got Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I got, um, 
Resident Evil 4 HD. You guys all know why I got that. And I got one more. What the hell was the last one I got? 4 Perspective HD. Um, Breath of Death 4. Everyone says it's a funny-ass game, so I got that one as well. And that's it. Okay, really? Okay. Oh, right, I remember now. Bloop, bloop, globe, globe, bloop, bloop, fish food. Honestly, this this is a, a really, a really simple boss. This boss is like, I don't even know who programmed this, but I'll be honest, this was terrible programming. This is, this boss is too easy, way too easy. And I rarely say that about video games, but this is the one boss I do not like very much in this game. Because all you do is you just float down there and just hit him 50 times, you know, 50 times in his face and that's it. You never get hurt. We got the next instrument. Yay. Bay. Your road goes into the bay. Into the hay? You gotta stay? Into the bay? Look, we can swim! That means we can go, like, everywhere now! Let's go in here first, though. What the hell is this? I am Manbo, child of the sun. Fish, have you got an ocarina? Yep. Then I could teach you my song! Reminds me of like a, reminds me of uh, the turtle song. Teenage and a me, teenage uh, turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. You've learned Mambo's Mambo. When you get out of the water, play it. No, I want to play it now. I want to play it now though. Let's play it and see what happens. What's what's going on? Oh! Look, it teleported me here! No! Yep. So that about concludes it for this episode. Uh, that is four dungeons down and four to go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I, s I apologize for a lot of my ranting, but it had to be done because that's me. I rant about everything. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, my voice is completely shot now, so... You all have a good night, a good day, good evening, and whatever else the hell you want to have. I will see you later. This has been Dario8676. Say goodbye! I'm gonna miss you! I'm sorry! I am. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry.